Welcome to Monday, August 14th, the day that the Chillicothe paints enjoy. field and um, I got to say in this regard first of all I think I, I may have forgotten to turn the sound off on that but uh, <laughs> Matt Pruning took that video for us while I was out running around on the field and it was not taken by his ODOT phone <laughs> so he's in the clear. Trouble. this was his personal phone that he took that video he's in from, the clear. so uh, want to have him under investigation for any reason so now because you brought it up they probably will look into it <laughs> don't ask don't tell Matt, so i'm they sorry say. i didn't i didn't throw you under the uh, odot bus there <laughs> was, like when i showed up at the stadium last night i, I walked uh, up to the gate and Lindsay was operating the gate there and i said i don't reckon i need a, a pass or a ticket to get in she says i don't think you do either but i didn't see you and i said i didn't see you either <laughs> <laughs> it just walked right on in. But uh, good time last night. Always good when the paints pick up a win. We'll talk more about it in further uh, discussion in sports coming up in just a bit. But we want to start off with we've had a rain shower here already, and it's coming down. Yeah, we're not done. Uh, possible storms accompanying rain today, which Dan said we've already had some pretty good showers in Chillicothe at this hour. High expected today of 78. We think that it'll clear out with partly sunny skies and 76 tomorrow. Uh, A good bit of uh, the Scioto Valley was uh, spared severe weather. Uh, A tornado did touch down over in Athens County. In fact, uh, a lot of social media uh, media video of that touchdown of that tornado, which turned out to be an F1. And north of Columbus, a little line that went uh, west to east, they also had an F0 uh, tornado in Hardin County. This was Saturday afternoon. Uh, but like I said, most of uh, our area was spared a good deal of that. I'm trying to remember if it was 2012 or 2011 when they had a tornado there that uh, hit, the, hit stadium, the football, football stadium. stadium. Yeah. Not, not, not Peden Stadium, but at the Plains, at the high school, Athens yeah. High School. And uh, Chillicothe was supposed to play them. Mm-hmm. And, but I, I'm pretty sure it was a scheduled home game for Chillicothe. Mm-hmm. But because of what happened at their facilities, they moved that game to Saturday evening. And I want to say the Cavaliers might have lost that game. On a wacky play. It's one of those where hmm. the officials gathered together in the end zone and they're looking through the rule book. Oh, golly. That's <laughs> not a good sign, yeah. And who was part of the crew? Our buddy Justin Evelyn. Oh, boy. That's really not a good <laughs> sign. <laughs> uh, we're going to talk about uh, Evelyn here in a bit. Coming up in sports, we'll tell you why in just a few. But first, we want to tell you about accurate heating, cooling, and plumbing. Your trusted comfort advisor. If you're not comfortable in your home because it's too hot or it's too cold or maybe it's too wet, you need to get a hold of Accurate Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. You can do so by clicking on this ad anywhere you find it on littermedia.com and it takes you right to their website to learn more about the services of Accurate Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. On the way next, news with Mike Smith. This is Andy Tomlinson. When ensuring what's important to you, our agents are there when you need us the most. Tomlinson Insurance, for the best coverage at the best cost. Visit us online at tomlinsonins.com to learn more. Hey y'all, I'm so excited to be playing Roco Music Fest with my buddy Parker McCullen. Make sure you go to rosscountyfair.com to get your ticket.
And it's time to take a look at what is making news on our website and our social media today with the icon, Mike Smith. Well, speaking of an icon, a uh, longtime radio colleague of Dan and ours, uh, uh, and mine, longtime Hillsborough area radio voice and singer, Herb Day, was at the Keeping It Country Farm in Waynesville over the weekend for his induction to the Ohio Country Music Hall of Fame. But he didn't know, right? He didn't know. It was a <laughs> surprise. He was just thinking he was coming to perform, uh -huh. and they said, oh, by the way, Congratulations. I remember the first time meeting Herb Day, yeah. uh, 1981. Uh, Phil Swain was my best man for my wedding, and he says, let's go over and see my buddy Herb Day. We, yeah. we drove over to Hillsboro, sat in with him on his show at WSRW, and uh, congratulations, Herb Day. Great honor. Uh, yeah. For anybody that knows Herb, he's just a super guy, and we, and we congratulate him on a, a great, great honor. Art in the Square took place Saturday in Washington Courthouse, where area artists brought their talent to the downtown streets. Each year, the group hangs artwork from this effort in uh, the downtown area. A lot of it's on the side of the buildings and so forth, and uh, not quite the crowd that they've had in, in recent years, but it was very windy on Saturday. It didn't storm there. But uh, there were, I was there for a few minutes, and there were pallets that were being blown down, and a couple of the awnings there took off uh, in the wind, but uh, no one was injured, thank goodness. But, uh, yeah, light, nice little effort that the Arts in the Square does each year. I did see that your daughter had painted a, a beach setting of a rain cloud coming through, so maybe that was the only precipitation you were going to get yesterday. Yeah, that was a picture that I took when we were at the beach this summer, mm -hmm. we could see this storm coming in the distance and it missed us, but uh, that's what that rendition uh, was from. Project School Tools is being held tomorrow at Chillicothe Middle School from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. Now you say, wait a minute, we just heard you guys a week or so ago say it was at Mount Logan. Well, it's changed. That's why it says <laughs> new location, exclamation point. It's been moved to the Chillicothe Middle School tomorrow from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. One more reason to watch the show on a regular basis. That's Things correct. change. Things do change. Do you have a pair of gently used and clean sneakers at home that you don't wear? And that, Dan, that's clean I, sneakers. I do not. No. Please consider <laughs> donating them to a great cause at the Fayette County YMCA. They're taking donations of sneakers now through August the 22nd, and those will go to some needy kids over there in Fayette County. Mm -hmm. Staying in Fayette County, Main Street Fayette launched their Dora weekend in Washington Courthouse over the weekend. That's the designated outdoor refreshment area like Chillicothe, Circleville, and many other area communities has. It's uh, conducted on the first and second Friday and Saturdays of each month. That means another is coming up this weekend to coincide with the Courthouse Cruise In on Saturday. We were telling you about that last week. Dora hours are 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. on Fridays and noon to 10 on Saturday. Chillicothe Ross Chamber of Commerce will conduct their next business after business this Wednesday from 5 to 7 p.m., and it's going to be held at the United Way of Ross County on Water Street. It'll give uh, business uh, leaders in our community an opportunity to get in there and talk with uh, Darren of the, uh, the uh, United Way about why they should get involved in helping our community. Another fine Taze Valley guy. Yes, indeed. we got to get him back in here mm -hmm. on, on the show. Join the Pickaway Community Foundation for their 2023 Farm to Plate Dinner on Thursday, September the 7th. That'll run between 5.30 and 8 p.m. The dinner's at 6. It's sponsored by the Pickaway County Foundation Agriculture Fund, and it's going to be held at the Heritage Center there on the Pickaway County Fairgrounds. Staying in Pickaway County, Circleville Eagles will host an antique and classic car show September the 2nd. That runs from 11 a.m. until 6 p.m. at 135 East Main Street in Circleville. The Fairfield County Health Department recently awarded an $80,000 grant and named an official Project Dawn distribution site by the Ohio Department of Health. Now, Project Dawn, which is new to a lot of the folks there in Fairfield County, is deaths avoided with naloxone. It's a network of opioid overdose education and naloxone distribution programs across the state. Fair, uh, Fairfield County Health joins more than 145 registered sites 
in an effort to reduce overdoses and educate Ohioans on the impacts of opioid misuse, abuse, and addiction. Members of the Friends of Hopewell Culture National Historical Park conduct their annual meeting September 7th at 6.30 p.m. at Ohio University Chillicothe, Room 131. Now, if you plan to attend RSVP by September the 2nd. Governor Mike DeWine over the weekend announcing Ohio's new teacher apprenticeship program designed to help Ohio address the educator shortage while providing an additional career pathway for those wanting to become teachers. For more information on how to get involved in that, go to our website, story at littermedia.com. And coming up tonight, something we told you about a week or so ago, career tech kickoff. Now, this is for the secondary uh, students, juniors and seniors at Pickaway Ross. That's tonight from 5 p.m. until 7 p.m chance to learn your schedules and all that kind of stuff. Uh, find out who your teachers are. Yes, siree. A lot of stuff out of Pickaway County today, and that's where our road report takes us. State Route 674 between U.S. 22 and Lithopolis Road will have daily lane restrictions that run through September, and that's 7 to 7, 7A to 7P each day. And that's your topic. 674 runs right along the Pickaway County line. Mm-hmm. Uh, just north of, uh, well, you go east of Asheville, and then, boom, you hit 674, and look to the left, you're looking at Pickaway County, look to the right, and there's Fairfield yeah. County. That's right really there weird. on the line. Mm-hmm. And it takes you all, all the way right up to Canal Winchester? I think, I think it is. that's and right, then, close to it, yeah. And then right into Pickerington, and uh, it's, a, it's amazing that Canal Winchester and Pickerington are not the same burg because they're so close together. One day it could be. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it yeah. could become the Minneapolis St. Paul. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Twin City. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, coming up, a look at sports. Paints win! Yay! Champs again. Yes, yes. Um, this was the schedule. They've played it all, and they kicked tail. Yeah. 45 wins this year. Yeah. 45. I told Brian Menino, you put together a pretty good ball club today. And uh, he said, thank you, because there was a lot of work. You don't see what Brian does, Mm -hmm. but he is the, not the general manager, but he is the baseball operations guy who spends a lot of time on the road with uh, his baseball academy that he has up in Columbus. I was talking to his son, who's going to be a freshman this year Mm -hmm. at Olentangy High School. I said, freshman, what? He says, yeah. And so, uh, uh, Brian, I, I was telling his son, I said, your dad is the first person that I've ever seen put on a manager's jersey to play in a game. Mm. And that's because when he joined the paints, there wasn't a jersey big enough, so uh-huh. they had to take Roger Hanner's <laughs> jersey. Literally, Roger took the shirt off his back and put it on Brian Menino for his paints debut. Gosh, 20 years ago now? Incredible like Hulk. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, uh, let's talk about Hulk. Victor Figueroa. Yeah. We'll show you in just a moment. He is a monster size young man, and he's just a college freshman. Yeah. Details coming up in sports, but first we want to tell you about another place that cleans up, Scioto Valley Dumpsters, 740-253-8389 is the number to call to get a dumpster. They'll bring it to wherever you need it, and then they'll haul it all away when you're done filling it up. That's whether it's residential or business. Find out more by calling Carl, 740-253-8389 for Scioto Valley Dumpsters. Sports, next. You haven't had vodka soda like this. No one has. Made with the world's smoothest vodka plus real juice. New White Claw Vodka Soda. It's the details that make the difference between good enough and simply the best. At Skag Power Equipment, the difference is in designing lawnmowers with your convenience and comfort in mind. At Skag, we believe that quality and substance matter and that you'll appreciate the attention to detail and craftsmanship we put into every single product. Thick steel and heavy duty components provide you with unmatched reliability and performance. Skag, simply the best. 
Find a career you love with Pickaway Ross Adult Education. Skilled trades careers are in high demand with no signs of slowing down. Pickaway Ross offers career training programs with expert instructors and hands-on learning tactics to create a variety of opportunities. Visit our website for more information. Well, I was looking for a first job. Um, I had been babysitting and decided it was something for a little more permanent. It pays very well. It's convenient. You can make your own schedule with the flexibility. That's something that I like. The people that I work with are great. I wouldn't ask for a better crew or management team to work for. It is time for sports. Great news for the Chillicothe Paints. Isn't there an old saying about good things come in threes? Mm-hmm. Twelve runs in each of the three games. 36 runs yeah. in three nights of play. Yeah, they lost 18-12 to 12 last Thursday, but they stay alive with a Saturday 12 nothing win and then win the championship in the third and deciding game 12-8. to eight. You know, this is four because they won the Eastern Conference Championship 12 to nothing. How about that? that so they, they scored yeah. 12 runs in their final four games, and that's 48 runs. Magic What number. an offense yeah. this guy. Uh, 45 incredible. and 18, I think, for the, their overall record for the year. Here's the three-run shot in the second inning. Of course, this is how things looked when <laughs> everything was done. I want to know who that guy's backside <laughs> belongs to. <laughs> um, I think Colley was the um, – uh, the <laughs> – Relief pitcher, mm -hmm. and I think he was on the bottom of that pile because he was there and the catcher, and they, they hugged, and next thing you know, they're on their backs underneath this grouping. <laughs> so, yeah, and pretty the, cool. The guy that, of course, had that uh, big three-run homer in the big five-run inning, Victor Figueroa, he's also the series MVP. Yeah, and, and so we caught up with the manager, Speaking of Michael Boswell, as well as Tim Orr, who you see on the right there, who came back to play just for this reason to be a champion again. What do you think? Man, these guys battled all year. I couldn't be more proud of them. You know, they did everything I asked, and they grinded out in order to come back to back. Really helped last night, didn't yeah. it? Game two is the my dad told me told me the other night after we lost, and he said game two is the biggest one of the year. Man, was he right? Came out, came out last night. Was able to throw a haymaker and kind of, kind of stun him a little bit, and you know, come out tonight and do the same thing. Big hits at the right time too. Big, big hits at the right time. Right. Victor Figueroa was, was, was money tonight. He was exactly what we needed. And everyone else, far from in between, did not disappoint tonight. It's awesome. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Talk about what this means. Coming back and enjoying a back-to-back -back championship. It means the world. I mean. That's set the sights on that early in the season, and you know to be here doing it again, having the same feeling, it's amazing. You have this marathon game in Quincy on Thursday. Yeah, uh, you, you come back, and then you guys took care of business in game two mm -hmm. to set up this situation. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, a credit credit to Nick Falter yesterday. He threw a gem and gave us what we needed to win today. I, I believe that fully, and it, it just showed that we, we can beat them, and we have what it takes. As, as far as an offense goes, we just kept dealing and kept swinging it, and you know we just needed a little help from the pitching staff, and we got that these last two games. Outscore them and keep them from scoring. Absolutely. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. What a cool experience for these guys, and here is Victor Figueroa. They started a new tradition, and that is announcing the series MVP and then they get to come claim the trophy mm. and then take it back to the boys. And uh, they were super happy, as was uh, most everybody. I kept looking over at the Quincy dugout. <clears throat> they, they were not happy. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's uh, – Tim mentioned uh, Falter's performance on, on Saturday. You know, when you win 12 to nothing – Mm -hmm. Everybody looks at the offense, but that young man threw a one-hit shot out yeah. in that ball game. Well, and, and the thing about it, uh, that game Saturday was near reminiscent to Tuesday's game in the Eastern Conference Championship in which uh, Reddick had mm – -hmm. he had, what, a third of an inning away from being in a complete game, right. and that's because – he just threw too many pitches in the first inning. Mm. And so his pitch count got to him. I talked with him 
uh, last night. He started the contest, gave up a couple of runs uh, in the first inning. Next thing you know, it's like, oh, man, is Quincy going to try and unload on Chillicothe? But um, I was in the dugout with him. He comes walking over. I said, well, you settled down there after that first inning. I, I was worried about you. He says, yeah, it, it, it just – Got out of hand, but then settled down. He pitched three scoreless innings after that. Uh, they did tag him for five runs, but Chillicothe had built the cushion they needed in that second inning. Yeah. So. Well, of course, we in our community, we think this, but as far as records are concerned, the Paints have raised the bar because mm-hmm. that being their fourth Prospect League championship is now the record. Uh, They have more Frontier League championships than any other team. Uh, Their other titles came in um, 2010, 19, last year, and of this year. And they were runner-up twice in 09 and 14. And one of those times to the Quincy Gyms. And Quincy had won three Mm -hmm. going into this. So, uh, but Chillicothe. 45 and 18, I think. Yes. And I think they were 26 and 8 at home. Yeah, <laughs> I wish the Reds played that well at home. They they have a better road record, but yeah, congratulations to Brian Wickline and and all of the uh, group out there. A lot of the folks yeah. behind the scenes that make all this happen. And a lot of those guys are gone already. They, they, it's like the end of Tecumseh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, they do their final performance and it's getaway day. Right. And so they're all going back to their respective locations. I did ask Figueroa. I said, "You coming back?" And he says, "I might do that." Mm-hmm. He had a good time. Uh, he certainly was tearing up the league, and he is just a freshman at Mississippi Valley State. And I, I reminded him, I said, it's cooler up here in the summer than it is down in Mississippi. Yeah. <laughs> and remember, we lost one of our great home run hitters yeah. to the big leagues. They signed him in the middle yeah. of the season. Arturo so. Diesel. So. Wow. So, yeah, yeah this, was a, this was quite a team this year. Absolutely. Congratulations. Going up on the big league. Yesterday, the Reds had to play a doubleheader against the Pirates because they were rained out on Saturday. The first game, oh, wow, that bullpen again. Lost it 4-2, to two, but they bounced back in the nightcap last night with a 6-5 to five win in 10 innings. So the Reds win that series in Pittsburgh. They're off tonight before uh, coming back home for uh, action that starts uh, against the Guardians on Tuesday, I, I thought to myself when they optioned Nick uh, uh, Ladola. No. Oh, Senzel. Okay. Senzel. <laughs> How soon you forget, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, with this talent. Yeah. I, I thought to myself, yeah, yeah, why don't they option Lucas Sims down? Oh, you yes, know? please. He, he needs some help. He needs help. Of some sort yeah. because he comes in. Next thing you know, he's loading the bases. Yeah. And then you bring somebody in for him and then. Boom. Boom. There it goes. Yeah. So the Reds uh, off tonight. They've got the Guardians coming in tomorrow night. The Guardians beat the Rays yesterday by a score of 9-2. to two. They also are off tonight to prepare for that uh, series in Cincinnati starting uh, tomorrow night. And one last note. Uh, this is the game of the week for uh, Litter Media this coming Friday. St. Charles at Chillicothe at the O. And you'll notice on the right there, something new, Litter Media Radio. Now, there's a QR code. And Mm -hmm. for those of you that wondered what a QR code is, you just take your smartphone, walk up to that, turn on your camera, and it will read that code, and it will take you right to Litter Media Radio, which has something on it right now. (laughs) It's not completely up to date because we're still in a test mode. Uh, So if you hear the newscasts Mm -hmm. on there or a weather forecast, they might be out of date right now, but uh, we'll get that taken care of. But again, it's in test mode right Mm -hmm. now, but we will be official coming up Friday night as we go live. One other high school note, uh, SVC volleyball preview is tonight, and that's going to be not at the gymnasium, but the West Falls new community center. And, uh, Dan, you did a piece on that uh, some months back when they opened it. Mm-hmm. So if you want to see what it looks like before you get there, go to uh, Litter Media YouTube. Yeah, and uh, it, it's right out front. I mean, when you get into the front parking lot, boom, there it is. You'll notice the new portion, and you walk in there, and it takes you right back to where you need to go. Yep. Right through the hallway. And so. we think it starts at 5 o'clock. Uh, 
we didn't get a notice on this. I heard it from a coach, and she thinks it starts at five. So uh, between five and six will be the first match. Is that coach your wife? Uh, I cannot disclose that. <laughs> but if you go to the, uh, the uh, match or the exhibitions is what they call it, there'll be – uh, teams, the, the featured teams will be playing on one court, and the court right next to it, they'll be warming up for the next match. Mm-hmm. So things will be moving rather quickly there All tonight. Right, so make sure that you are, well, you're t- wear your tennis shoes, I guess. Yeah. Uh, put on some sneakers, and that way you can get going where you need to go to make yeah. sure you don't miss a thing. All right, this date in history next. At Rathcamp Financial, we believe in building client relationships for the long term, guiding you through the stages of wealth with a plan and bringing you closer to reaching your financial dreams. We believe in long-term relationships and working to earn your continued trust with our customized investment solutions. For transportation options in Ross County, call Ross County Health District's Mobility Management Team, 740-779-9652. You asked, we delivered. New Mike's Hard Lemonade Zero Sugar. Zero Sugar. Amazing taste. Years in the making. Now that's a drink worthy of the name Mike. He's worthy of Mike as well. What do you have for us today on this date in history? Uh, 1935 on this date, uh, something that I'll be on sooner than later, the Social Security Act was signed into law by President Franklin Roosevelt on this date in 1935. The gift that keeps on giving. Yeah, really. Press photographers snap pictures as FDR flanked by ranking members of Congress signed into law this historic act, which guaranteed an income for the unemployed and retirees. FDR recommended Congress for what he considered to be a patriotic act. Uh, Unfortunately, what many people have failed to realize over the years, and this goes back to the original uh, purpose of this in 1935, this was meant to be a supplement to retirement, Mm -hmm. not your only retirement. Unfortunately, a lot of people counting on it as their only retirement, and it's just not enough to live on. Yeah. So. And you look also at the, um, like, Fannie Mae. Mm-hmm. That was only supposed to be a short-term fix. Yeah. and Not with government. Not with the federal government. Nothing it, short-term. It seems like yeah. once the government starts something, it's it grows tentacles, and it just grabs a hold of everything. Yeah. For whatever reason. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. I want to say hi today to uh, Jennifer Hayburn, who's watching her final days off because uh, school's starting up here pretty soon. Uh, Connor Kent, also Mary Mills, along with Nate Jarrell, along with uh, Billy Fuller, Peggy Conley, Tyler Callahan, uh, Nada, is it Nada or Nada? N-A-D-A? Got me. Isn't that like the National something administration? N-A-D-A? NAMI. <laughs> I know about NAMI. I don't know about Nada. <laughs> but uh, Nada Clater, also uh, Gammy Kearns. Uh, checking in with us as well. So thank you for watching today. Uh, ran into uh, Jennifer Cochran out at the fair. <clears throat> I've known Jennifer since she was just knee high to a grasshopper, and she says I watch you guys all the time, and I'll, I'll, you know, you'll you'll mention my name. Well, that's her married name, yeah. and I was thinking of her maiden name. I thought I didn't ring a bell, but Jennifer, mm-hmm. if you are tuned into this later on. Uh, Re- record or re-delay <laughs> hello and we didn't forget about you and thanks for watching you know this it, it's an interesting thing um facebook because you put the name out there you have couples who share their their like for instance if missy and i did this it would be Dan, Missy, Ramey, or Missy, Dan, Ramey, whichever yeah. the case may be. And it gets confusing when you want to wish somebody a happy birthday. It's like, you know them, but you're like, uh, yeah, which, which one, one is, is it? their yeah. birthday, right. Uh, but a lot of people put, like, their their maiden name in there. Mm-hmm. becomes the three-name thing, and you get confused on certain things. Michelle Long, for instance. Yeah. Um, she came in for an interview one day, and mm-hmm. I introduced her by her maiden name and yeah. she's like i want to correct you on something <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't been that for quite some time yeah. so all right um don't really have a radio moment to share with you uh here today i, I guess 
we just want to sell once again, Litter Media Radio is launching this week, so um, you can check it out. Um, we learned over the weekend about CarPlay. Um, mm-hmm. I, I knew all about CarPlay, but I didn't know how Litter Media Radio would show up in CarPlay. Mm-hmm. It's pretty cool. So uh, if you've got CarPlay, check it out. It should show up as an app. There's a live 365 app that you can download, and it'll take you right to where you need to go to see Litter Media Radio. Now, uh, Litter Media Radio has on it previous interviews that mm-hmm. we have done. Uh, there's no music per se. It's all you're hearing what we've done here on this show. Mm -hmm. Uh, We'll also have the daily show on there, too. So you'll get a chance to hear some of these things as well. But our plan is to uh, put Mike Smith in there with a newscast, Mm -hmm. uh, update weather weather and that sort of thing, too. Uh, Things that uh, are beginning to become non-existent uh, here in our community. So we're trying to – we saw the void – and we thought, let's step into it. I'm not the void. Hopefully, I'm hopefully filling the void. I saw this great void sitting next to me. What is that? A black hole or something? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm reminded of my days of Sunday ninety five <laughs> when I was uh, uh, introduced as the new midday guy. Bob Simpson was the morning man. Bob Nunley was the afternoon guy, <laughs> and Bob Simpson always called me the fluff between the two important parts <laughs> being listened to. Yeah, so, really. so I was the midday fluff. There you go. So here we are. All right, uh, that's it. We will talk to you with another program tomorrow. Uh, do we have a special tomorrow? Uh, you let me look at my calendar real quick. We, we did talk with uh, Tom Wilson just a few short moments ago. We'll be putting that in post-production to share with you a look at what he's working mm-hmm. on over in the Lancaster area for high school sports. Uh, we have John Howley returning with us the following next Wednesday week Pickaway County. to talk about things going on in Pickaway County from the Sporting Pumpkin. You have Tiffany Baldwin on Thursday morning. Sand in the Streets Volleyball uh, as we're getting closer and closer. That's coming up on August 26th. And on, uh, let's see, that's uh, Friday. Friday. I'll be talking with Gary Moore and Tom Perrin. Yes, about an event that they're working with Calvary Lutheran Church. Uh, I will not be on the show tomorrow because I have a dental exam. So Good luck with that. <laughs> yes. But it'll be a happy moment to walk in to Dr. Hanner's yeah. office and say, Yeah, how about that? Paints win, paints yeah. win. Another championship. All right. See you on this program tomorrow with this guy. He's the icon, Mike Smith. I'm Dan Ramey. Uh, I'll be back with you probably on Wednesday. See you then.